In the relative compression test quick tips video, we showed how to do a relative compression test using a lab scope and a low amps probe. With 16.2 and newer software and snap-on scan tools, you can now do that test with a scanner on most Ford vehicles. So let's run through that right now. Okay, the tool's hooked up, ignition's on, so let's power up the tool. Go on the scanner. It's gonna automatically ID the vehicle for me. Hit OK. And it's gonna be under engine system. And that is going to be a functional test. And that's down here where it says relative compression tests. So we'll click on that. It says safety note, apply the parking brake. Make sure the vehicle is in neutral or park gear position. Fully depress the accelerator pedal and apply the brake pedal during the test. So we have to do that as well. So I'll just click continue. Test will continue when all the below conditions are met. It tells you what conditions need to be met. It says my ignition switch is on, that's met. Make sure the battery is sufficient charge, that's met. Fully depress the accelerator pedal to the floor and hold, that's met too. So we'll click continue again. Crank engine for 10 seconds. Okay, test is complete and there's our results. Cylinder one, three, four, and two. Got a tenth of a percent difference between cylinder one and cylinder two. So let's see what the results would be. We'll pull a spark plug out and see what would be a bad result. Okay, now the spark plug's been removed, so let's run back through this test again and see what it's gonna look like without that spark plug. Press the accelerator pedal. And there we go, so I took out the cylinder two spark plug and it's 20% down. So that's 20% out, uh, out of the whole system, it's down. So that's definitely my problem right there. So it, you see it's gonna point you directly to the cylinder where the problem is. It's a pretty quick little automated test and now you can do it with a scan tool, makes life a little easier.